Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome to Millionaire Mom Networking. And uh, there we go. Sorry, I had to mute Michelle there. <laughs> Michelle, um, so glad to have you all here. Um, thank you so much for being here. My name is Allie Porter. I am your Christian Connector Concierge. I am also an author, podcaster, and I'm the host of this Christian Women's Networking event. I'm also a lover of God, my family, and my faith. I connect Christian women entrepreneurs with proven resources, tools, people, and opportunities to enhance their life, build their kingdom business, and create millionaire momentum, all while keeping God as their CEO. Now, I would love for you guys to comment and let me know where you're tuning in from. Um, let us know, uh, you know, if this is the first time that you've been here or if you're, you know, a return E um, to this awesome event. And please, please, please bring somebody with you next time. All right, if you are ready to build your network and create millionaire momentum while keeping God as your CEO and Christ as your foundation, then you have come to the right place. Make sure that you complete the three steps below this live stream. Number one, so in order to see that, just scroll down slightly and you'll see it. Um, number one, click on the link for the next event. Please register now. Don't wait for that. Just get it done so it's in your calendar. Number two, share this event with other Christian women in business so we can continue, can, I can talk today, can continue to grow and um, really be able to connect with more Christian women. And number three, join our Christian Women in Business Networking Group. This will allow you to also stay connected connected with those that you meet at the networking event um, and just really be able to be part of this amazing community. Um, and Michelle Tufford, who you'll see in just a second, um, is the one that manages that group. So definitely check that out for sure. We also have our M2 Tribe Christian Women's Directory. This is the perfect place to find coaches, consultants, service providers, and product specialists. And all of these women are Christians and they keep God as their CEO. And if you are a business owner and you want your business featured in our directory and you would like the opportunity to speak at our networking event, please reach out and we can give you some more information on that. So I'm just going to share my screen really quick and show you guys what that looks like. So this is what it looks like. It's called Millionaire Momentum Tribe, the Christian Women's Business Directory. We have coaches, consultants, product specialists, service providers. We have replays from the networking events. Um, so it's really cool. So check that out for sure. Hey, how's it going, Michelle? <laughs> we'll pull you up in one second. Okay. Um, so now that you know all about that, um, before we say our prayer and get into the devotional for today, um, I just want you to know that we have an amazing guest speaker today that's going to wrap up this event and you don't want to miss her. Um, I'm actually really excited to hear from her because, um, it's been a long time coming for her to get on here. And so I'm really excited. Um, her name is Andrea Anderson, and she is going to be speaking on why it's time to live unhindered. Um, and I really love that. Um, she is able to share a mind-blowing truth from the Bible that is the key to unlocking self-care, guilt, and launching yourself more fully and freely into your God-given purpose. So stay until the end so that you can um, uh, you can listen to her words of wisdom. All right. Uh, also, for those of you that stay till the end, you'll be entered into the giveaway for my 21-day abundance challenge. Um, and so definitely stay until the end so that you can be a part of that. All right, Michelle, I'm going to turn it over to you, my friend, for the devotional and prayer today. Thank you for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. This is always like one of my favorite times of the week to get to connect with all of you amazing ladies. Um, so I wanted to share with you guys today some um, some thoughts actually from my study, my Bible study yesterday. And um, it just really stood out to me. You guys know me. I have a heart for marketplace ministry. Um, God just really put that on my heart that we have a, a powerful um, opportunity to really share about him through our businesses. But more specifically for me, ministry is really um, I've been really called into the the social media marketing space, right? A lot of times we think about like where people's attention are right now, right? They're right here spending a lot of their time just scrolling, right? And I just believe that God wants us to be the light in the darkness. He wants us to be the light um, on these platforms. And it's a powerful place to be. So when I think about that, sometimes I, I and maybe you feel this way too, and, and it is actually probably good that maybe we feel this way, we feel a sense of um, inadequacy, 
when it comes to ministry, right? When it comes to really sharing about Jesus, because we were so imperfect, right? Like, who are we to share, right? So in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, um, Paul actually um, talks about this specific thing. Um, so I want to start out by um, reading in, so we're starting in chapter 4, um, chapter or verse, we'll start in verse 6. For God, who said, let there be light in the darkness, has made his light shine in our hearts so we could know the glory of God that is seen in the face of Jesus Christ. We now have this light shining in our hearts, but ourselves are like fragile clay jars containing this great treasure. This makes it clear that our great power is from God, not from ourselves. We are pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. We are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. Through suffering, our bodies continue to share in the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be seen in our bodies. Yes, we live under constant danger of death because we serve Jesus so that the life of Jesus will be evident in our dying bodies. So we live in the face of death, but this has resulted in eternal life for you. But to or it said, but we continue to preach because we have the same kind of faith the psalmist had when he said, I believed in God, so I spoke. So when I read that, especially that last line of like, we believe in God, so we speak, right? So I spoke. That's all that we need because it is through um, Christ in us that we're able to have um, this ability to, to be the light. It's not us. It's like, despite us, right? God wants to shine his light through us. Our fragile clay jars is what the, the, um, it refers to. This fragile clay jar contains the treasure. And the reason why, and I love how it's pointed out here, the, a lot of the reason why this is, is so that we can't what, where does it say? I want to go back to it because I feel like it's really important. Oh, here we are. The, this makes it clear that our great power is not from us. It's from God, right? Um, and so I just encourage you, if you're feeling that sense of inadequacy, that that's actually not a bad thing because it's reminding you that it's not about you and that it's about Jesus shining through you, through, um, and he can use that fragile clay jar that you are. Um, but I do believe that if we are followers of Christ, that we need to be bold, that God asks us to speak and to shine that light wherever you are. I believe that ministry is wherever you are. I used to think that it was for pastors on Sunday, right? Or, you know, missionaries that go, you know, overseas. No, Every one of us is called to ministry, um, and it is right wherever you are. And I feel like, especially here for us in our businesses, how important and powerful it is for us to include God and to shine the light through the marketplace. Um, so just want to encourage you with that this morning. And so let's go ahead and pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you so much again for this time that we get to meet together as sisters in Christ, as your daughters. Um, thank you for giving us an opportunity to share um, our light, the not even our light, Lord, we get to shine your light through the fragile clay jar that we are, Lord. Like we recognize that we are nothing without you and that through our weaknesses, um, that you are glorified um, and because they don't see us, Lord. We just ask that, that in everything that we do, that it, that we not be seen, Lord, but that they see you, that, um, that we are an accurate reflection of you, Lord. And um, just ask that you continue to just um, empower and equip us, and um, even through this opportunity with these um, this networking that we're doing, that you will make those connections um, that are meant to um, you know help us continue on that work, and um, that we will be able to use our gifts and talents to bless others and uh, help us to always keep our focus on you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Mm, that was beautiful. Mm. So good. Ah, oh, I 
just love it. We could just do that all the whole time. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right. Well, let's um thanks again for that. I just every You're time welcome. it's like it's like God knows exactly what I need to hear. When you need, does it can anyone relate to that comment? That's if you can God. totally relate to that. I know. <laughs> it's like he knows. He knows. Mm -hmm. Um, it's amazing. All right. Um, so Thank you again, Michelle. So before we go into networking, I just want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor of this event. So the sponsor is called Girl Power Alliance, also known as GPA. And a lot of people want to know, well, what does that mean? What it means is the girl is childlike faith. The power equals God's power, just like Michelle was talking about. An alliance means surrounding yourself with an army of women who are building God's kingdom. Girl Power Alliance is personal, professional, and spiritual development with a compensation plan attached. There is, this is where women really grow in all areas of life and business while keeping God at the center of everything that they do. Our mission is to impact the world by empowering women to pursue their God-sized dreams and build wealth through kingdom mind and mentoring and leadership. We believe in massively growing ourselves while at the same time growing massive wealth with no competition in the kingdom. So I'm going to share a quick video on that. And then we'll dive into networking. Do you feel lost, wishing you had more direction? Are you longing for more fulfillment in your life, your profession, and in your walk with God? For such a time as this, that is what we believe here at Girl Power Alliance. Our mission is to influence the world by empowering women to rise and dream bigger through kingdom-minded mentoring and leadership. We are passionate about creating financial sovereignty for women around the world. The Girl Power Alliance is a premier community for Christ-centered resources and training for your personal and professional development. We are creating a new narrative for women, committed to raising up more women as biblical leaders than anyone else on the planet. At Girl Power Alliance, we aren't just doing something outside of the box. We are breaking the box. Creating a passive residual income is no longer a want, it's a necessity. If you're an entrepreneur, a professional, small business owner, a mom, a wife, a daughter, or a ministry, your voice matters. We believe there is no competition in the kingdom. Align your faith with your calling. Align your faith with your profession. Boldly take bigger steps knowing you have a community of women encouraging you and growing with you. If you're ready to take your life and your calling to a kingdom level, then now is the time for you to join the Girl Power Alliance movement. Mm, beautiful. Well, if you are interested in learning more about GPA for your own self-development and to build your income, feel free to connect with the person that invited you to this network, the to this networking event, um, and they can connect you to this amazing movement of Christian women. Um, there is also an Experience the Girl Power Alliance overview call tonight at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern if you'd like to learn more. So again, reach out to the person that invited you to this event and they can get you the link for that call. All right, so now we're gonna network. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the button to the left-hand side of your screen that says networking. And when you click on that, make sure that on the next page you fill out your profile. If you haven't already done so, it'll be on the right-hand side. And then once that's done, click the join button. And this will um, be how you're gonna connect with people inside of the event. You're gonna have four minutes and 15 seconds to network and get to know each other. Each time you're connected with someone, there will be a blue button at the top right-hand corner saying connect. Make sure that you click that. And I've 
repeated it multiple times, but I just want you to know there's a blue button that says connect. Make sure every time that you connect with someone, you click that because that will allow you to virtually exchange your information with women so that you can meet and connect with them later and their information can appear on your dashboard inside of your Hopin platform. Now, for some reason, it's not there, like you can't see your connections inside your Hopin platform when you log in next time. Um, you can email uh, the Hopin support and they'll make sure that that tab is put on there, okay? Um, feel free to connect, to share what you do and grow relationships. However, no pitching, please. We're here to build genuine relationships and please do not extend your time. This is speed networking. We want you to connect with as many people as you can. And if you have any issues or problems, please reach out to me. Um, lastly, make sure that you come back to the stage promptly at 1145 Central so that you can hear from our guest speaker, Andrea. And with that, have fun and we'll see you in about 30 minutes. Take care. Are you a Christian woman in business? Have you ever felt overwhelmed or frustrated when it comes to growing your network? Or maybe you are just burnt out with all the networking and the DMs and dealing with Zoom fatigue for all your 30 minute get to know you chats with people you don't even know. Oftentimes networking can just be full of pitching and what's in it for me, but I wanted to change that. What if I told you I could help you grow your network for free? that didn't involve cold messaging people or dealing with 30 minute Zoom calls back to back just to get to know someone and realize that their beliefs and values don't even align. That's when I said enough is enough. We are in marketplace ministry after all. We have created our businesses and have been called by God for a time such as this to help build his kingdom through our businesses. But building a solid network of Christian women with no competition in the kingdom can be challenging. So that's when I created Millionaire Momentum Networking. Join us for speed networking for Christian women in business. It's similar to speed dating, but for business. Make genuine connections and grow your network. It's fast, faith-filled networking that's face-to-face. -face. Every event is free to attend, and we have an event every single Thursday at 11 a.m. Central for 60 minutes, so they are short and sweet. We start off the event with prayer, then a scripture or devotional, and then we dive into networking. You are randomly paired with another attendee, and you have four minutes and 15 seconds to connect and learn about each other to see if you want to continue building those relationships. Once your time is up, you will be moved on to the next person and so on for 30 minutes. Once you have completed your networking, you will get to hear from a guest speaker bringing lots of value. And if you decide that you want to promote your business and be the next guest speaker, we can share with you how to do that. And finally, at the end, there's always a giveaway, just as a thank you for coming. So we want to invite you to come and see. Join our Christian Women in Business to grow your network, collaborate, and connect, and see how God uses you to build the kingdom through Marketplace Ministry. And until next time, stay inspired, believe in Christ, and receive the wealth and prosperity that God has for you. Let's create millionaire momentum with God as our CEO in life and business. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back. Comment. Let us know you're back. And uh, we are so, so excited to have you all here today. Um, I get to introduce my dear friend, Andrea Anderson. She's going to be speaking to us today. Um, before I do that real quick, I noticed a couple of you had mentioned that you had some problems connecting with people. So if you are struggling with that, just refresh your screen and it should like reset everything and you can log back in or not log back in, but um, Click join again to connect with the next person. So make sure you're using a Chrome browser uh, or Safari or Firefox. I think those are the three that work really well. Um, and if this is your first time, it's okay. It, it happens. So we'll just keep moving forward. Come next time and you'll get used to it. All right. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and introduce Andrea. Uh, let me find your bio here. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, here it is. Okay, so Andrea is, um, she, is, she, let's see, she's cleanses for ambitious Christian women who want an easy plan to reset their eating habits God's way and then show them a sustainable path for dynamic energy or dynamite energy. She is a certified life and health coach. She is an ACC accredited by the International Coach Foundation, an instructor for the Institute for Health by Faith and co-founder of the, of the um, Wally Healthy 
holy healthy. Well, I, don't, I don't know why I said Wally. Sorry. Holy Healthy Christian Moms Collective. Um, she lives in Cleveland, Ohio with her husband and four children. Um, and she's going to be speaking on why it's time to live unhindered. And she's going to share a mind-blowing truth about the Bible that is the key to unlocking self-care, guilt, and launching yourself more fully and freely into your God-given purpose. Um, and so I'm really, really excited to hear from you, Andrea. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. There's the mute button. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited to be here to and share this topic. This is really a theme that God has been highlighting over and over again for me. And I'm really excited to share it with all of you um, because I know this is a message that he gave and not just for me, but for other women too. Um, so why it's time for us to live unhindered. If you think about it, it is like that is what we are created for. We can look all the way back in Genesis. I always like going back to like, how did God originally intend for things to go? And I always go back to the garden and we were supposed to always live unhindered, just this, this freedom and fellowship with the Lord and just this ease in our purpose. And I know, especially as ambitious women, that it is really frustrating when we feel like there is anything holding us back in any way, right? And the women who come to me, they're all ambitious. I'm ambitious. So that is why like, we want to just throw these things off. So I'm really excited to share more about that with you. But I always like to be really interactive and not just talk at you. I want you to get something out of it. And it also models what how coaches, classical coaching in the way that I do it is meant to work, which is really engaging the client, the person before you in the process, because you're going to get so much more out of it. So if you don't have a uh, paper in front of you and a pen, um, maybe grab one real quick or open a screen or something so you can do some typing, because I'm actually going to ask you some questions to consider. And we're going to walk through this and then I'll share a little bit more to kind of bring it full circle. Okay. So, um, First question, which I feel like is such a perfect one for this time of year, because we're winding down one year and then, you know, we're getting ready to start another one. So I want you to have like, take a minute, literally a minute to write down what you want to achieve in 2023. Yes, this can be business, but also think about personally as well. So I'm going to give you just a minute because we want to kind of breeze through this. Okay. Normally, like if I was, if I had more time to talk, I would give you more time to write that out. So if there's any, if there are any questions that I'm asking you where you're like, Oh, I need to sit with that. Go ahead. Like a little bit longer, go ahead and you can do that in your own time. Um, Normally, like if I, was, if I had more time to talk, oops, I would give just you more time to write that out. So Ooh, if there's any, sorry, I'm getting some feedback. Okay. So second question is I want you to look at what you wrote down and then real quick check in on a scale of one to 10, where 10 is highly confident. How confident are you that you're going to achieve that goal or those goals that you wrote down? It's going to scale of one to 10, just really quick check in, be honest with yourself. How confident are you that you're actually going to achieve those? Like if we fast forward, to the end of 2023, so a year from now, how confident are you that you will have achieved those? Okay, we're gonna come back to that in a sec. Now I want you to reflect back on this year, okay? I want you to think about, have you achieved all or most of what you wanted to? And also think about, are there any goals that you brought into this year that you've been working on for a while? So be, ones that you brought in from the past years. Again, this can be business or personal. So I want you to take a second, just reflect back. This year, have you accomplished all or most of what you've wanted to? And then are some, if you haven't, are some of those goals things that you've been working on for a while? like beyond 2022. Okay, I'm going to guess 
that there are things that you have not achieved and things that you've been working on for a while because it's common to all of us. So now my invitation to you is, I, personally, I think this is done best on a piece of paper, but you could do it on screen if that's your if your preference or that's what you have in front of you. Um, I want you to draw like four squares. So if you have a piece of paper, you're going to divide that piece of paper into four sections. And one the one section, it doesn't matter which order or like how you label it, but one section you're going to label physical, the other you're going to label mental, one of the other ones you're going to label emotional, and then the last one you're going to label spiritual. This is an activity that I would encourage you to actually take some time with, because again, we don't have time for it right now. But in those four squares, like I want you to think about the goals that you haven't achieved that yet, okay, that are still important to you, because sometimes we tell her, you know, we let certain goals go. So goals that are really important to you that you haven't achieved yet. I want you to go through this four squares and write down like what are the things that have stopped you from achieving achieving those goals like based on each of those four squares. So are there things physically that have been showing up that you know are playing into it or mentally, spiritually, or emotionally that you know have been blocking you from actually moving forward and and accomplishing that goal. You may even want to just write those instructions down because again, this is an activity that really um, is done best when you have more than a few seconds to do it. And I especially want you to consider, because this is my wheelhouse, is do you have the energy and confidence that you need to achieve those goals? So thinking about the ones, now we're thinking about the ones in 2023, okay? So the ones that you have been working on in 2022 that are still important to you and you're wanting to carry into 2023 and connecting it back with what you wrote down for the first one. So I want you to really consider, do you have the energy and confidence that you need to achieve those goals? Or are your energy and confidence levels stopping you in some way? Are there any stressors that are consistently present in your life that are stopping you or would stop you from achieving those goals? And sometimes that can show up. Sometimes stress is sneaky. We don't always realize we're feeling stress. But one of the ways that we can recognize that from like what we're telling ourselves is once I get past this, like once I get past this date or this event or like this mess that's going on in my life, then I can finally achieve that goal. Or then I can finally relax or enjoy myself or have peace, like however you'd finish that. So again, stress can show up as once I get past this, then I can have that. Okay. All right, so let's connect this back to, to this mind-blowing truth that I want to share with you and the topic. Okay, so this comes from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. And this was something that God just, it was like, whoo, like blew my own mind in the summer when I was doing this Bible study with friends in the book of Hebrews. Um, it's in chapter 12, and it's verse 1, okay? And I have the New King James Version, and this verse says, Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so eas and easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set out before us. I want you to pay particular attention to the first part of what I read, to lay aside every weight and the sin that ensnares us. I always thought when I read this verse up until the summer that like the weight was the sin, but then it was like, whoa, no, there is weight and there's sin. So this verse tells us that it's not just sin that trips us up and slows us down from running full force into what God has for us. There are other weights too. And those weights are some of the things that you write down or like that you will write down in those four squares that I had you do. And again, I want you to especially consider your health. Because it's an area where I consistently see ambitious women neglecting um, from a belief that it's not as important to grow their business. And sometimes it tell, we tell ourselves, oh, it's not important, and I'll get to that later. But when we're struggling with things that we write down in these four squares and we don't have the energy that we want or the confidence level, then it is going to hinder us from being able to, again, fully walk in that purpose. 
So we need to reframe how we're caring for our bodies because it's not selfish. It's not a waste of time. It actually allows you to go further and higher in your kingdom purpose and have even generational impact because your gener your kingdom purpose isn't just for you or for this moment in time. It's much bigger than that. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this up by if, if this is a topic that there's just something resonating and you want more with that, um, one of the things I put together is a free PDF called the weight loss wheel. Like, yes, it can be if you're struggling with weight loss or unwanted weight gain, it can help for that, but it can also reveal other weights that we're carrying that we need to throw off. I'm also offering what I call the five day breakthrough cleanse in um, January. And I think Ali was posting those links for that. So the breakthrough cleanse, it's like, it's to help you reset the way you look at nourishing your body God's way and also break through some of um, mindsets that we've been telling ourselves that are actually hindering us. And finally, if you know in the new year that you like health, it needs to be a focus and you want some help with that, you want to get results faster and, and smoother than you can on your own, um, then I would love to connect with you and talk about what that would look like. Oh my gosh, that was phenomenal. Wow. 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 That was amazing. Thank you, Andrea, so much. Give her some love in the comments, guys. Wow, that blew my mind when you were sharing that that uh, those couple scriptures. And, um, and I really think that when we can finally figure that out, we can figure out what's like holding us back and why, and like kind of dive into that in a deeper way, um, that's truly gonna help us have the breakthroughs that we need to like move forward um, in God's way, not our way. So I loved that, I loved that. Thank you so much, Andrea. And I know that it's a quick amount of time, you guys, but um, you can learn a lot in a in a short amount of time and so um, if you want to connect with Andrea please do so reach out to her I put the information in the chat you also can find her information in the directory as well um, and so just make sure that you go to the um, m2tribe.com that's m as in Mary the number two tribe.com and you can look up Andrea Anderson in there um, and be able to access her uh, her listing. And this recording will also be inside of her listing as well. So you can go back and rewatch it. You can actually do the exercises that she's talking about and start and stop it. So you can actually mm -hmm. really dive in and do that. Um, so yeah, everyone's loving it. That was, oh, Gina said, wow, that's great. Nancy said, thank you. Jarrell said, thank you. So yeah, great stuff. Great stuff. Thank you so much for being here. All right. We're going to um, finish up really quick here. Um, I'm going to do the the giveaway. Um, but before I do that, uh, I just want to, again, say thank you so much for coming. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed this event, and I really hope that you will invite your sisters in Christ who love business to come to your next, uh, to come here next time, uh, and of course, love business and, and Jesus. Um, again, if you haven't registered for the next event, please do so, and please share this event so we can get as many people here as possible. Um, don't forget to check out the M2 Tribe. I already um, shared that. If you are a GPA member, if you decide to join us in Girl Power Alliance, you get three months free um, in the uh, directory. So, um, just so you know, if, if that is of interest to you. Um, so reach out to the person who invited you to this event to learn more about that. Um, also, you can go to askalliporter.com to connect with me. Um, I probably have a person, platform, or tool, or resource to connect you with because that's what I do. And so with that, let me go ahead and share screen for the giveaway. Give me one second. Let's see. Share screen. Okay, so this is for the 21 Day Abundance Challenge. Yay, Gretchen! Congrats, my friend. I'll go ahead and send that over to you. I think you might have it already, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Let me do one more just in case, because I think I think Gretchen already, or may have already won. We'll do two today. Oh my gosh, Andrea, yay! <laughs> Congrats, Andrea. I'll make sure to send that over to you as well. All right. Thank you guys again for coming. We hope that you had a wonderful time. Um, and until next time, stay inspired, believe in Christ, and receive the wealth and prosperity that God has for you. And let's create millionaire momentum with God as our CEO. So take care, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. And we'll see you next time. Take care.
Oh, it is weekly, Yvonne. Yes. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Uh, just make sure that you register for the event. If you just go to askalliporter.com slash networking, um, then you can find it and uh, register for the 15th. All right. Take care, everyone. <laughs> Bye.